Talks have begun in Washington on what could end up being the biggest trade deal in history. Negotiators from the European Union are in town to meet their U.S. counterparts with the aim of creating the Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership. Even though much horse trading is expected, the representatives appear optimistic a deal will be reached. Yeah, I think we're high hopes. Everything should be fine. And I think it's a very huge opportunity for everyone. The so-called TTIP comes at a time when Europe is worried about becoming less important to the US than Asia. But the idea of eliminating tariffs and harmonizing regulations appeals to groups on both sides of the Atlantic. And, you know, she... The good thing here domestically is that there's broad consensus on free trade in Congress and in the administration. Both Democrats and Republicans would like to see open, free uh, trade agreements with a wider range of partners. They're all behind the euro, behind the euro, etc. There's a recognition that the bilateral relationship between the U.S. and Europe is changing. It's no longer a security-based relationship. The premise of that relationship is economic, and we don't yet have the kind of institutional mechanisms to um, support that relationship. So creating the TTIP at this time, it couldn't be more timely. If successful, an agreement might represent the largest boost to the transatlantic relationship since the end of the Cold War. And it is seen by some observers here as a final attempt of the West to stay ahead in a world increasingly influenced by China, India and others. Stefan Grober, Euronews, Washington.